This is not just economic collapse. This is the collapse of civilization. The entire world is shutting down, and people are freaking out as we have never been before. The impact on humanity will be of biblical proportions. As rising worries about a global recession led to fears of a longer-term demand disruption. Not just a global recession, this is the greatest recession in human history. This virus has changed the course of history. What's going on, we've never seen before in our lifetime. Experts are warning that hundreds of millions of people around the globe could eventually die. It is mind-boggling to think of the lost businesses, lost jobs, lost retirements, lost security and plans, lost confidence in governments. What would an after-virus economy look like and who can calculate the economic destruction? Martial law is now being considered in California. Our society is not equipped to handle a crisis of this magnitude. This has triggered the global economic reset we've been waiting for. After the carnage in the market, the Dow hit 20,000 for a while before dropping back down. I guess the plunge protection team wanted us to get one last look at it before it moves on downward. Sort of like a wake before it gets buried. The volatility will be greater than a roller coaster. Huge moves down and up. The bleeding hasn't started yet, wait till the Dow gets to 8,000, then we are just about there. The sad reality is when markets fall, they sometimes do not come back. I am of the opinion that they are instigating a managed controlled and deliberate collapse. But there will be nothing managed and controlled about this. The only thing that will save us is ourselves. Carrying out our resistance when the news continues to tighten, and the government's credibility continues its plunge. FEMA condo coming to your area sooner than you think. Beware of the friendly faces that come offering reasonable global solutions to the recession, depression, epidemic, panic, or whatever the disaster panic du jour might be. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. The global economy has just entered a recession, and the fundamental damage of the virus outbreak on an already over-leveraged economy will be greater than anything we have ever seen. The question is no longer whether there will be a crisis, but how deep and lasting it will be. So welcome to the global recession. S&P Global announces by launching the most optimistic forecast out there. World GDP will recover, say its analysts, in the second half of the year, but at the moment, 2020 growth will not exceed 1.5. Always better than the 1.25% forecast by Morgan Stanley and the 0.9% estimated by Goldman Sachs, who comes to imagine a stop of 3.4% for Italy, minus 1.7% for Europe. Thrilling numbers, unimaginable only a few weeks ago, yesterday almost ignored by the price lists, such as the numbers of defaults expected for corporate America that will exceed 10% for S&P. A figure which European companies will also approach. All the fault of the sudden freeze of economic activities caused by the coronavirus containment measures that will put credit profiles at a global level under intense pressure, explain the experts of S&P. Confident that the collapse of cash flow, associated with much tighter financial conditions and the simultaneous oil shock, will damage the creditworthiness of companies globally. The magnitude of this impact will vary significantly depending on the industry and asset class concerned. In any case, a serious contraction, although of short duration, will impact above all on the weaker debtors or on those in the sectors most directly exposed. However, it cannot be ruled out that a prolonged recession may have wider implications. This is clearly an organized world event with some hidden NGOs calling the shots, as every sovereign nation around the world is given the exact same script with the exact same talking points down to the same media-generated hysteria using the same planted propaganda of toilet paper shortages to cause a run on toilet paper and hoarding. This has all the hallmarks of a Hollywood production. It serves multiple agendas as we see the globalists trying to power grab and fund all their projects under emergency measures acts around the world. The economy began crashing on September 16. Johns Hopkins, the World Economic Forum, and Bill and Melinda Gates held Event 201 on October 18 to plan a pandemic exercise. The WEF met in Davos in January. The stock markets crashed in March. 
Now Johns Hopkins is predicting 65 million fatalities for this relatively mild viral pneumonia outbreak, governments are exercising totalitarian authority, and people are falling in line and obediently being sheared. This is the globalists' takeover. In 2008, the scapegoat for an economic collapse was blamed on stupidity and subprime loans. I believed as many did, that the 2008 financial collapse was just a practice run for this current main event. And of course, this main event needed a scapegoat. So they produced one. And boy, did they produce one. Today, this main event, in which we are only in round one of a 12-round match, is being blamed on this current intentionally released economic bioweapon of mass destruction, which is, in my opinion, still being passed around to areas not yet infected in order to make the most of the current situation with the motive is to completely take down all of the economies of this world. And it will, in my opinion, become the greatest economic and financial collapse in the history of mankind. And they can't just let everything crash though, in my opinion, they have to have a controlled crash, as is currently being done with the stock markets. Why would they do such a thing? In order to get one step closer to a new world order. It seems that everything these highly secretive planners do, they need to practice their plans first. And just as the 2008 financial collapse was a practice run for this current main event, cryptocurrencies was set up as a practice run for their long-desired one-world currency, which will also eventually become fully digital, in order to see how the public would accept digital currency, and how we would use it. Below is the sequence of events that I believe must take place in order to form this new world order endgame, and just a note, this new world order is not just a conspiracy theory, nor is this one-world currency. Research it, you'll see. A one-world currency, which will end up being the end result of this current collapsing of the world economies. Out of the ashes of the world, fiat currencies will rise the new, one-world currency. Yes, the US dollar will collapse also. Probably by them first collapsing the stock markets, so everyone is forced to jump into US treasuries instead. Then, the US government goes bankrupt, and US treasuries collapse also, and so does the US dollar. This one world currency will eventually become fully digital and fully traceable once the technology catches up. In this way, they will not only know what we spend our money on, but also where we were at the time we spent it, and at what time, Big Brother will be watching all the time. And eventually, when the technology is fully established, they will force us all to receive an RFID chip implant in our hand in order for us to buy and sell. No more credit cards, no more debit cards. And it may even be fitted with a GPS so they can track where we are at all times, if possible. And if they have a problem with us, they will simply turn the chip off, and we will not be able to buy or sell anymore. Total control. One world central bank like the Federal Reserve wasn't bad enough. One world financial system. One world economy. One world religion, perhaps. One world court. One world police force. One world army. One world government, in other words, everything we have in the US government, except it will be in control of the whole world instead of just in control of the US. And we will be its servants. And eventually, when their time is ripe for the harvest, they will introduce their one world dictator. I won't go into details on this, but for the first time in history, one man will have conquered the world and will be king of the world. No one has ever been able to conquer this whole world with standing armies. Everyone who has tried has failed. But one man will be able to accomplish this by way of the monetary system and the RFID chip. Then, when it is all over when everything has been accomplished, the money will then be destroyed and will be no more, and we will all be free and equal. In the end, instead of serving money, thus serving ourselves, we will be using our talents to serve mankind, and a new world will be born. Big Pharma is part and parcel of the manufactured panic and lies. Just look at who is benefiting from this hysteria. Meanwhile, in one fell swoop, we have all lost our rights and freedoms, with barely a whimper from the masses. Your right to free movement will be restricted permanently. Your right to free association will be restricted permanently. Your right to bodily autonomy will be history. The rights of the individual will soon no longer exist. Many more horrors await. Fear and ignorance will guarantee compliance. Not much time before all the avenues of resistance are closed forever. The psyche of the population has been irrevocably altered, to its own detriment. Of course, the intentions are good, and that's all that matters. Right? 
Only fools would allow this quasi-science political engineering. Researchers also gave a troubling warning for countries around the world implementing lockdown measures, in order to be effective, they would need to last 12 to 18 months. The dark economic night is coming with you all as fully trained slaves in fear. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you.